Okay, so we're gonna pop the hood here. And we're just gonna take a look to make sure everything's looking good. All our fluid levels are fine. Safe to go for the day. Check our transmission fluid. Washer fluid here. Check our battery connections, air box. Make sure all the other fluids look good where they should be on our levels. Check our oil down here. Okay, then we do a once over of the entire ambulance. Make sure there's no dents or damage to it or anything like that. Make sure all our lights are operational. Um, and then we move on to our interior checks. Okay, so go ahead and power up all, all our stuff. We're testing our EKG as well. And it's doing a self test just to make sure it can do everything it needs to do. Make sure we have all our cables, pulse ox, leads here. An extra 12 lead on this side. And we need our pads in case we need to defibrillate somebody. Okay, this here says our self-test passed, so that's all good. Good to go there. And this is our first in kit, which we bring in on all medical calls. It has a lot of stuff in here that we go over and make sure we have all the imperative stuff here. Stethoscope, blood pressure cuff, pulse ox, a thermometer, a little sharp shuttle. Make sure our glucometer is stocked as well. And then, checking through all our meds. Denosine, sodium bicarb, calcium gluconate. We've got Epi, checking our expirations on here as well. This one here is expired. We pull it and replace it. Check this side too. Got a blood pump, some IV start stuff. So I like to go through everything and make sure we've got everything we could possibly need for any emergency really. <laughs> 